Welcome back, everyone. We are all preparing for Turkey Day, but an annual tradition here in the Capital mm -hmm. Region, 75th annual Troy Turkey Trot is also coming up. So we have the event director, we have George Reagan here, and we also have Kevin O'Connor. He is from Joseph's House and Shelter, where the money from Troy Turkey Trot goes. Thank you both for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks and this is such us. a family event, but it's also a charitable event yes. as well. George, why is this so important? Why are we now in the 75th running? Of the toy truck turkey trot well that's because it started in 1916 <laughs> yeah. so if you do the math it didn't run continuously uh, through that period mm -hmm. of time there were some m missing spots during the war years mm -hmm. but uh, we this will be our hundred and sixth anniversary this year so 1916 to uh, to 2022 yeah. is 106 years. That's right. And so it has a lot of history, mm -hmm. a lot of tradition, mm -hmm. and um, you know people uh, like that. And yeah. it is on Thanksgiving, and it is a time of giving. Mm -hmm. So they like to give money to our charities, uh, uh, Joseph's House and Shelter being one of our main charities, along with the Regional Food Bank mm -hmm. of Northeastern New York. And the events. I was going to say, for the 75th anniversary, we're, you're doing some new events, right? Yes. It's, a, it's really a family event for everyone. It is. It is. Uh, we started at uh, 4th and Fulton mm -hmm. um, with the 10 kilometer, which is 6.2 miles at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, and then we go to the grade school mile, which we have about 500 grade schoolers in there, wow. along with the turkey walk. They all line up together and go <laughs> off at 9.30. The turkey waddle for people who just want to walk yeah. in. Yes. Yeah. And the neat thing is, it's not just exercise, it's not just about the run, you are giving back. And one of those charities is Joseph's House. Can you tell us, what does Joseph's House do? Joseph's House's mission is to provide non-judgmental services to end homelessness. Mm -hmm. Each year we serve about 2,000 men, women, and children through our street outreach programs, our emergency shelters, as well as permanent supported housing programs. What does an event like this, this kind of fundraiser, mean to you? Oh, it means a, a lot. First of all, it raises the awareness. It reminds people that there is a need. Uh, and in fact, that need is increasing. Uh, we've seen a, a doubling of the folks who are unsheltered here in Albany County uh, mm -hmm. since the pandemic. Uh, so far this year, we've connected with a thousand, over a thousand single adults who are living unsheltered uh, in the streets, in alleys, in places not meant for habitation. Uh, so it also raises money, important money, with more people, more services, more costs. So uh, the community coming together, having fun, uh, as well as doing good for, for, for folks that need it the most. George, what's the goal of the Turkey Trot? Obviously there's a charitable aspect, but what are you hoping that people gain and then the charitable organizations benefit from? Well, it's, it's a beautiful event that can bring family uh, and friends and neighbors together on a wonderful day, which is our Thanksgiving. So they come from born and raised here, but now are out in 45 different states and they all come home to uh, partake Thanksgiving with their family and to give them an event in the morning that will allow them to burn some calories <laughs> so they can eat them in the afternoon. Right. And then they don't Why count. not? Mayor McCarthy said, or they said they don't count. Exactly. Uh, eat all the pie you want. That's uh, the beauty of it. That's right. And if people still want to sign up, is there time? Yes. As a matter of fact, we, we try to accommodate everyone and we do it right up to 15 minutes before each race. So last chance registration will be, we will have it on Thursday morning right down at the Troy Atrium on the Broadway side. And they can pick up their packets starting when? Uh, tomorrow. But there you go. At LaSalle Institute. Fantastic. We're going to do a drive through uh, being uh, conscientious mm -hmm. about COVID and, and the other flus that viruses right. that are going around. So Wonderful. we'll have a drive through up there Saturday, uh, Sunday, and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then we move down to downtown Troy with the final packet pickup and race day registration. Perfect. What a way to give back during that kickoff mm -hmm. of the season of giving. Thank you both for joining us today. Our pleasure.